Hello, Ramen Nation. Chris Cobain here, and I am bringing you a Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. It's been a while since we've uh, done one of these videos, but um, I, I figured that I really wanted to get bit of some battle videos out uh, during the NPA, the other than the NPA matches themselves, because you know, YouTube's getting a lot of traffic right now because of the NPA. A lot of people who wouldn't otherwise visit the channel um, are checking them out for the battles and stuff. So it's a good it's a good way to introduce people to some of my regular everyday content. Uh, as opposed to just seeing the NPA stuff every day. So the plan for these um, is to go ahead and try to get out um, one about every week uh, in between, uh, probably like midweek or so, Wednesday or Tuesday through Thursday-ish would probably be a safe bet um, just to throw some extra stuff in there. I figured I, we could have been okay just throwing up NPA videos twice a week, you know, the team builders and the battles themselves, but this uh, could be a really good way to get us uh, some more, like, you know, more subs and all that other fun stuff. So, um... So I figured the first battle we're going to do for this, a uh, pretty fitting one, is actually going to be an RU match. Um, Sun and Moon RU uh, entered beta at the beginning of the month. It's still going through a lot of different changes. A lot of bans are taking place still every now and again. Um, but the tier is a lot of fun right now. There's a lot of really cool stuff. And uh, this is actually going to be a Durant sweep. Durant being one of the most original Pokemon on my stream. A lot of them would just know him as Kevin. Pretty basic nickname, but whatever. And he's actually going to be going off in this on uh, this battle right here. So, take a look at my team. as my first ever Sun and Moon team. I like it a lot. Or Sun and Moon Aru team, I should say. I like it a lot. We're running Scarf Meloetta. A special Defog Flygon, which is a very unique and different set. Especially now that he gets Dragon Dance. But, uh, it still does work. We've got a fully physically defensive... Um, Jelly Scent that is running Toxic to deal with threats such as Cresselia, that, so they can't call mine. My, the Durant itself, which is actually a Z Home Claw set, uh, Z Home Claws actually raises your attack by two stages, uh, as well as your accuracy by one, um, so that he becomes an absolute powerhouse. Uh, Banded Heracross, because Heracross is broken in RU, I have no idea why it's still there, it absolutely obliterates the entire tier. And Needle Queen, which is my Stealth Rocker, uh, and just overall Wall Breaker with a Life Orb. Opposing team, we've got a Bronzong, a comfy, cool new Pokemon, Flygon as well, uh, Jelly Scent as well, Virizion, and your boy, Zorwark. Um, so this guy's got a good team, this is Reshi by the way, Reshi in the chat, a long time sub, really good friend, um, good battler too, but uh, as you're going to see, uh, Durant is just completely ridiculous uh, with the home claws. So without further ado, let's jump into the match. So if I'm not mistaken here, I'm pretty sure we lead off with Meloetta. Meloetta is pretty much my dedicated lead. It's scarfed, as I said, and it's running U-turn, so it's a good way to get some momentum if I don't ha if I don't like the lead. He does go ahead and lead with Bronzong. I probably could have predicted that play, to be honest, and not led Meloetta, but whatever. We're not running Shadow Ball in this. It's actually running Psy Shock, Hyper Voice, and Focus Blast. So we're just going to U-turn out. It's going to do essentially zero, but, uh, but whatever gets us some momentum. So the easy play here is going to be going into Flygon. Flygon is my Defogger, just in case he sets up Rocks, which he does. Actually, I'm lying. He sets up Toxic. Lol. Um, and I'm running Fire Blast on this, so obviously Bronzong carries Heatproof. Uh, can carry Heatproof, but it's almost always Levitate, so we know Fire Blast will do solid damage. He does have Switch into that, but nothing I'm too concerned about. I'm not going to hit Jelly very hard with anything, um, nor Comfy, really. Uh, so the better play here is just going to be to go ahead and click Fire Blast and get some damage off of whatever. So he ends up going into the uh, Comfy. So this thing is actually pretty interesting. You're, uh, you're going to see Fire Blast does a pretty uh, solid chunk of damage, actually. A lot more than I expected. But um, Comfy actually gets priority healing moves, which includes Draining Kiss. So this thing actually gets priority Draining Kiss, which is kind of crazy. It's not a very strong attack, but once it sets up some Calm Minds, Comfy's a real pain. So we're going to go hard into Neo Queen here. Um, as he goes for Draining Kiss, pretty simple uh, play for me. Comfy doesn't really ever run anything outside of Draining Kiss, and even if you set up, set up Calm Mind there, he's not going to be willing to fight on a Sludge Wave Nita Queen. Um, so it's an easy play for me. I know he's going to switch out here 100%. He goes back into Bronzong, um, and that's exactly what he does. But I make this play to go ahead and set up Rocks. Um, I figured at the worst here, uh, I switch into Flygon as he sets up Rocks, and I have to default them both away. Whatever. I'm not doing damage with this. I, I could have double played it and tried to go back into something else, maybe Heracross for knockoff, but I wanted to set up Rocks, see what happened. Because uh, Rocks does a lot to his team, namely, it breaks a potential Sash on Zorwick, which is really nice. Uh, so we go right into Flygon. He does go for Gyro Ball this time, so he, he uh, deterred from setting up Rocks on both times he was on Bronzong. I'm not 100% sure what made him do that. But uh, we do have the Rocks advantage now, which is really, really nice. 
So again, we're just going to go ahead and click Fire Blast here. Unfortunately, we're going to miss... Um, he's a full specially defensive set, as he, as he told me after the match. So uh, I know that Fire Blast would have done a maybe 50%, but that's okay. So now we're going to go into Durant. Durant's going to take every hit this thing does very, very well. And I know I can set up a free Z Hone Claws. And if he's not running Scarf Flygon or Scarf Zork, I'm already prepared to sweep here, I think. So we're just going to go ahead and click it. As I said, this is going to give us plus two attack and plus one accuracy meaning that uh durant is no longer able to miss attacks with that hustle so he's got that hustle boost the plus two attack this thing is an absolute monster right now so he goes in a comfy which is a clear comfy sack um he's not confident to go into anything else and take like a hit in case i didn't attack so he's a fair sack here he goes for draining kiss as you're going to see this is the one flaw of durant his uh special defense is trash <laughs> and then like 25% from a completely bulky, weak, or completely non-invested mod, weak attack and everything, so. He gets a little bit of damage off, we hit Iron Head, obviously Comfy's gonna get obliterated there, no questions asked, um, and he's down. So that's victim number one. So he's gonna go into Pringles here, which is his jelly scent, and this is where I throw him off. We are actually running Thunder Fang on this. Now that's a kind of interesting move to be running. A lot of times you're going to see uh, like Rock Slide as his coverage attack instead. But Thunderfang is really good in the tier right now for Jelly Scent, Mantine, um, Alamola, uh, Milotic, there's, uh, also in Slowbro, even though you hit, uh, even though you hit uh, X Scissor. Um, but it's really good in the tier. All right now, so as you see, I do go for Thunderfang. It does one tap him. And I already know I'm on the train here. So uh, Durant's 109 base speed, uh, Verizion's base 108. Uh, so Iron, I'm faster, Iron Head's going to obliterate it. At this point, I'm confident that he's not running Scarf on either Zork or Flygon. Otherwise, he would have brought it out already. 100%. He goes into uh, Bronze Long to try to do anything. And this is why I wanted to know if he was physical or special. We actually one-shot him, which surprised me. But he said he was fully specially defensive, so I guess that's why I'm pretty sure a physically defensive one eats that hit. Um, not well, but it does. Zorark will come out. Here's where the rocks come and play. Very huge. I don't know if this was sashed or not. Um, there's no way for me to actually know that, but uh, if he was, it's irrelevant now. If rocks are so good for that. Zorwark obviously is not taking an Iron Head. He wouldn't take it from uh, from base, let alone plus two. And then his final mod is Flygon. Even a Flygon Scarf that has to be running um, Flamethrower or Earth Power from this range to uh, even kill me, which he doesn't. He's not Scarfed. Uh, we outspeed him, obviously, and we're going to Iron Head to death. And that is pretty quick and easy, the end of the battle. Um, there you go. Pretty simple. So Durant, uh, like I said, Durant's really insane. I've actually gotten two or three Durant sweeps, uh, within the first, uh, four, three or four days that we've been doing RU battles. We've gotten, we've gotten two or three sweeps out of him. Um, just because once you set up that home clause, like you really have to look out for namely really fast special attackers. The one that I run into the most, um, are Jolteon and uh, Noivern are the two that really hurt. Uh, Heliolisk also is a threat because it's speed ties. Anything with Scarf can be a, a problem, so you have to really play with that, but if you can, we kind of set this entire sweep up on praying that he wasn't Scarf Flag on Azorak, to be honest. Um, I just went with it. I figured, hell, if he's not, we get a sweep here. Um, I was very confident that uh, if it, even neither were Scarf, that I was going to sweep him, so um, works out. We get the sweep. We get a video out of it, which is really nice, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. As I said, we will be getting up at least one of these battles uh, in between the NPA every single week, so you guys can look forward to that. Um, I'm not sure what else I'll be uploading. Um, it could be any tier. It could be UU stuff. It could be RU stuff. Uh, it could be OU stuff if I get into that. It doesn't really matter, just as long as I get a pretty good battle up. So, Thank you guys for watching. As per usual, I do appreciate it. Uh, the next videos I'll be uploading on the channel will be the team builder and the uh, the battle against uh, Num Nexus actually, which I'm pretty excited about. So hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, comment if you want to, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, all right. Peace, Nation. See you next time.